Hey there everybody out there in YouTube world, action figure collectors, scalpers, resellers, toy hunters, and all in between and alike. Thanks for checking this video out. As you see here we have the long awaited, long anticipated Jada Toy Street Fighter line. We've got Ryu of course, the main guy of the game. Now, Jada Toys announced this sometime last year that they were going to be hitting stores. They're going to be released the spring of 2023. Well, here we are. I stumbled into my Target the other day, and what was I looking for? Not much. You know, maybe some Ultimate uh, WWE. You know, I've, I've said in previous videos I don't collect too many wrestlers, but that new Razor Ramon Ultimate and that Bret Hart Ultimate, fuck yeah. Those are badass, of course. That's my era in wrestling. And of course I walk, you know, you walk through the action figure aisle, you scope it out a few times, you kind of stand there hoping some of the figures that you want just magically appear, but they don't. And you take a walk over to the NECA aisle and you see all the, you know, let down NECA turtles and whatever, anything else, all the NECA horror and other figures that are just kind of shelf warming, you know, that hardly ever move. We know how that goes, but I was about to leave. Uh... In hand, I had the new Samantha LaRusso Power Pink Power Ranger, and I was so close to getting it. I was like, ah, this is kind of cool, I guess, whatever. I just, you know, retail therapy, you just want to buy an action figure. You kind of don't want to, you don't want to leave the store empty handed, so you kind of just settle. And I take a second round uh, at, at the NECA section, and at the end of the shelves, under like the Loyal Subjects under the other as a DBZ and Naruto SH figure arts uh, card figures at the end of the pops above the uh, Stranger Things turtle sets I just in a little niche right there just a little spot in the shelf. I see the Ryu and I also See the Fei Long and we'll get to the Fei Long later. I was not gonna get the Fei Long, but this in person is much cooler, much better. It is, it is a sweet figure. It is, like, it's it's almost an animated Bruce Lee. Like it's it's cool, but we'll get to this guy later. And I checked out the Ryu, and I don't know. I maybe it was the hype. Maybe it was me. And here, like, and uh, all bias aside, I I was like all in, ready for fucking Jada Street Fighter. But I, I don't know. I. I We'll check this out. You'll see what I mean. I already opened it. I already checked it out, but I repackaged it all so that you can see exactly how it comes. It's really cool. It looks like the arcade. It's got second and uh, first and second player Street Fighter 2 Ultra character selection. Ryu, like the way he is in the video game. On one side, you've got T-Bird, Vega. You got got some of the you know character arts, other characters in the game. You've got Ryu, the Japanese flag. First wave, Chun Li, Ryu, Fei Long. And looks like we're getting, hopefully we're getting all these other characters in the game. We're getting Evil Ryu, we're getting Angry Ken, uh, Akuma. So this looks really promising. This looks awesome. But again, this video is for, you know, just insight for you collectors that want to venture out into a new Street Fighter line. I tech i really do like the sh figure arts they i this is the cream of the crop as far as figures we've got storm collectibles i've got a couple of soda toys as well so i i've stated in some of my other videos i'm fucking street fighter is my shit like fuck yeah but uh, you know going back to the packaging clear front face uh, front facing window so that's really neat it's not a fucking shitty windowless box and you get some fucking botched figure or broken figure or swapped figure like has blow <laughs> and uh, we've got the character lifelines at the top the ko so this is packaging right off the bat awesome packaging is badass this is cool perfect for video game collectors Fighting game collectors, just, you know, iconic characters back from the 90s, early 2000s, what have you. So, oh, this box, you don't want to open it from the top. I thought, oh, just open it from the top and it all slides out. But no, the insert actually goes into the indention right here. So, open it from the bottom. Pull it out. 
because you see I was trying to pull it out from the top and I was like what the fuck so I had to pull it down from the open it from the bottom and it's like oh well great I just kind of ruined the box I'm I'm just real nitpicky like that I'm, I'm an inbox collector I've said plenty of times so but this is something we got to check out this is a, it's it's a little extra but uh, I don't know whatever we've got this clear shield like the old Marvel Legends did when you'd open up the pack and you'd have to remove the uh, front uh, front window packaging so one of the first accessories of course here the Hadouken Fireball as you can tell it comes with hand I'm sure you can see it there all right cool yeah his hands come imprinted inside the fireball so that's cool we'll get to that in a little bit background stage of the figure kind of like the way the uh, Playmates uh, Turtles and Street Fighter mashup also have so just leave that there for now it comes of course with the stand piece for the fireball so that's really cool he's got his open Hadouken hands and I've not tried these out on the uh, Playmates Street Fighter. I did a uh, review on that several months back when they released. But once I found out these were going to be released, I went ahead off and got rid of that other reuse. So we're not going to be able to do a comparison. Womp womp, whatever. So this literally is, here's his expression head sculpt. So you can see it right there. Oh, there we go. Okay, fuck it. Just right here. And of course, the uh, bandana ties here have that wind effect. But this really is like a mini storm collectible. A mini and affordable storm collectible. It's got the same type of like neck features. The uh, pliable gi. Uh, the pants here, you know, they're, they're molded and it, it is texturized so it's it's pretty cool these have the red hand accessories versus the original brown but regardless this still looks pretty cool but I'm gonna be honest I was so excited for these I wanted these I was like fuck yeah like this is gonna be the best the next next best next to SH next to Storm collectible as far as you know accessories representation uh, posability uh, Everything oh another thing that I wanted to point out on the box as You can tell look at the legs. It kind of shows like it's got Like it shows pins in the legs for the figures Mind you they are pinless. It is pinless technology. So you're not going to get any pins for the joints and the knees or the elbows. So that's a plus. Definitely a plus. Really cool. But it's it's like that cheap Marvel Legends Hasbro plastic. Like it I mean the, the body it feels it feels good. It it's it, it's sturdy, but just like the joint area, it just feels really cheap. The hands are just really flimsy. The 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 pegs for the for the points of connection uh, the the ankles the just I don't know there's just something about it that feels kind of like they didn't put too much quality into it and this is, it's like a real like rubbery soft type of type of head as well look at the paint app on that one it it like it missed it missed the eyebrow mark but cool the eyebrows still go over the uh, the bandana there I mean, it's still a great uh, version of the arcade Ryu. We're gonna switch the head sculpt. Actually, I do like I do like his ex his angry expression a lot better. And let's do a sure you can. Let's do a sure you can right here. Yeah. Get his elbow in. But we'll go over his articulation in a little bit because I was I was a little disappointed in a couple of things in the articulation. There you go. Sure you can, baby. Sure you can. Sure you can. 
So, I'm not going to completely complain or diss the articulation of this figure and all its points and its improvements or its progression because it does have butterfly joints so his arms do cross really well like i said the neck has that two has that double point of mobility at the base of the collarbone and at the top so it is on a ball peg so you do have much more range and tilt 360 same thing for the arms deltoid movement here for more articulation for positioning of the elbow double jointed pinless elbows wrist hinge rotation and we're going to take these hands off i'm going to put the hadouken hands the hadouken and it's cool because look like versus the playmates figure versus the soda toy just get the gi out of the way and even opposed to even opposed to the storm collectible it it crosses much better there's much more meat in the center to get that more accurate to decompose so See that? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, excuse the finger. There you go. All right, I fixed the angle. Hopefully, we can get back to getting a bit more clear shot here. But perfect it's great like at that point it really is but one of my one of the things I didn't like is the waist twist oh he's got upper torso uh, feature there but the gi does get in the way and it does kind of hinder his ability to stay crunched forward or crunched back but the waist articulation it's also on a ball peg like the uh, uh, G.I. Joe Classifieds, but it looks like it's on an O-ring, or it feels like it's on an O-ring. You see that retraction back? Either the connection on the inside to the top of the torso is stuck, and it hasn't broken in, and the effect that I'm getting at the waist twist is just the rubbery plastic that's holding both uh, upper body and lower body together. So... I'm afraid that if I really, really stress it, it's just going to tear the plastic. And there goes my fucking figure. Like, shit, like that sucks. He's got thigh rotation. He splits out. Like, that's perfect. That's badass. Doesn't really kick out forward as high as you would hope. But, I mean, shit, that's still... Forcing it, that's still pretty fucking high. Back... Kicks back about so. Great range. And bending the knee back. His ankle here twists. Or, you know, they call it the boot cut, but it's uh, just, I think the boot cut name is kind of stupid because anatomically speaking, you don't twist at the shin there. It's all at the hip, and you do have ankle movement so it hinges up and down and side to side tilt as well peg holes at the bottom of the feet for certain stands if you can find any of them to hold your figure up but if you know how to pose your figures you don't need motherfucking stands you just use the feet you use the balance you use the force and there you go perfect there you go he's charging up for the motherfucking hadouken So it's, as far as figure photography and if you want an affordable version, 
of Ryu. Absolutely, go for it. Have at it. But if you're a little nitpicky about the texture, the posability, whatever, then maybe wait for them to go on sale or buy it, check it out, be careful with it, repackage it, and return it, whatever. So, It's actually set right here. <laughs> do I like this figure? I'm not gonna lie, I do. But is it just because I'm gonna like anything Street Fighter? The brand, though, the the way it is, I don't know, maybe maybe my only issue is that goddamn fucking waist twist. I like look at that. He's got spring action. It's like the gimmick we used to have for our figures back in the '90s. So again, I'm just afraid of really forcing that. I'm just afraid of really forcing that that feature right there for the for the waist twist. But comparing him to a Storm Collectible counterpart. At this point, I'm going to say, you know what? Storm Collectible is still motherfucking king. I checked out a, a, an SH Figure Arts Ryu, and I, I wasn't impressed. I was not impressed. But there you go. That's a comparison right there. Compare. Oh, son of a bitch. Look, another Street Fighter. There you go. There's my Street Fighter fucking turtles. This is my Street Fighter Turtles motherfucking mashup right there. Can make my own. I don't need. Can make my own. I don't need the goddamn Playmates. Although I'm, I'm gonna give it to Playmates. They did really good with their Ryu figure. It is. It's. I, I like it. But compared to this one, on articulation alone, I'm gonna give it to Jada Toys. As far as durability and texture. I'm gonna give it to the Playmates Ryu. The Playmates Ryu was actually really good. If Playmates just had the updated body and the updated features for the figure, then it would have made it a more top type of figure. So, Marvel vs. Capcom. So, in comparison to Excuse me, in comparison to Mesco 112 Cyclops. I suppose. I think it holds up pretty well. Classified G.I. Joe Zartan. Because we all know that there was a mashup back in the 90s of Street Fighter G.I. Joe. So, there you go. I don't have any other G.I. Joes at the moment. I'm kind of getting out of the class. Oh, wait. I'm getting out of the classified line. But here we've got Sergeant Slobber. Slaughter. It, it makes sense. And same thing. You know, Sergeant Slaughter's got some cool ass, uh, cool ass points of articulation as well. And not for nothing, this Hasbro G.I. Joe here feels sturdy. Because most of the G.I. Joe's coming out lately have that rubbery type feeling and it really sucks. My new favorite Bret Hart figure. Shit, yeah. That is awesome. God, this figure is badass. Like, it's the best there is, man. There you go. Mesco Gambit. Yeah, it looks pretty badass, right? Shit, yeah. Reed doesn't look too happy. It's all right. Here we go, Super 7. Super 7 Casey Jones. Now, of course, the Super 7 figures are just slightly bigger than your typical 6-inch. But in comparison to others, it's they almost... These figures are just a little thicker in a sense. But that half-inch or so, or so, really in height... 
And you can you can barely tell. They will scale well. This neck a shredder. So it's a great scaling figure. Will fit in with a lot of other lines, and it kind of crossovers you other collectors to photographers want to do I'm sure he'll be a great subject for themes and whatnot that you have lined up for your toy photography overall I'm gonna give this figure an eight and a half out of ten uh, it's just that goddamn fucking waist twist I, I don't know man but I'm hoping the Fei Long is a lot better than this figure here, well, that was a Fei Long. So we'll see. We'll check Fei Long out later. Hopefully the uh, waste problem issue isn't a thing with the Fei Long body mold. But there you go. There you have it. Hope this video gives you guys enough insight to make a decision whether or not you want to dive deep into the Jada toys. Try one, try two. Maybe cherry pick. So at this point, I think... I think I'm gonna cherry pick and really see which figures I really want. It's a cool figure. Is it a great figure? I don't know. That's that's subjective. That's still to be determined by you. Uh, it's maybe I just got one with a waste QC issue. Whatever. But again, thank you. Thank you for checking this video out. Hope you guys liked it, and we'll catch you on the next one.